Yeah, I think fear is a big part of wanting to experience breath work because of the unknown. Not sure what actually has been locked away. Not sure what we've suppressed for so long. We suppressed so much, we're not even sure what's down there anymore. <laughs> and so I think there's, uh, I think there's a lot of merit to that. You know, we talk about this uh, concept of letting it go, but yet it's really like letting it in. And I think that phrase scares a lot of people. And most people are only afraid of what they don't know. And so I think there's a lot of um, conversations that you and I are having about emotions and the education of emotions. And as we become more familiar with that, they become less scary. As we spend time with them, just like a person we've never met before, a stranger, as we spend more time with them, interacting with them, we start to actually build a rapport, almost even a trust. And that emotion, um, it doesn't act like a stranger anymore to us. And I think slowly, that's when the fear can subside. Yeah, I've worked with so many people that have been afraid to try somatic breath work and usually there is a fear of going inside mm. and especially the longer that you live the older that you get the more things you've suppressed and pushed down and your internal world becomes quite a scary place and when your internal world's a scary place the external world's a scary place if you can't go inside and connect to yourself, then usually you're going to have a hard time connecting with other people outside. Like I've specifically, not even that long ago, I was working with a woman and she was like, you know, it's just, it's so scary to go inside and I just don't know what's down there. And I just, I'm, you know, she was like 60 years old too. She's like, almost at the point where she's like, I'd rather just live the rest of my life where I'm at and not have to go inside and, and deal with that. And, and I asked her, what do you want to get out of this session? And she said, well, I really like, I don't have any, I don't have any friendships. I don't have any close people around me. And can you imagine that feeling of, you know, being in the third, like sort of the, second half of your life and not having any friendships, not having any real connections. And it is because we can't connect to another person if we aren't connected to ourselves. Mm -hmm. And so many people are so afraid to connect with ourselves because we're afraid of what's down there. But if we don't address it, mm -hmm. we will suppress it. Mm -hmm. And once you go in, you realize it's actually not that scary. And it's actually very fulfilling mm. to really connect with yourself, to get to know yourself. Mm. We're with ourselves. That's who we spend the most time with. Yeah. Might as well get to know yourself. Yeah. And the more you can know yourself, the more you can connect with other people. Yeah. The more you can develop relationships and the more you can, re you can only connect with another as deeply as you've connected with yourself. And I think we all crave deep relationships in our life. I think that's what's really special about somatic breath work is that it is not done alone. There is someone there with you. And that changes the dynamics of everything. Because imagine if, you know, you said that with life, there's someone with you. That makes it all worth it. So there's just an aspect of having someone there with you while you go in. While you go in, you know? I mean, we, you think about walking into a dark room or like it is, you know, a haunted house or something, like by yourself, scary. <laughs> <laughs> but with others, talking and distracting yourself and, and really like supporting one another, that's where actually you can do so much with, 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 uh, with someone else. You know, being there with you, encouraging you, supporting you, cheerleading you there, guiding you. Um, we need that in life. 
It, life wouldn't be enjoyable if we literally just had to do all of it on our own. So it blows my mind to think about people are so quick to take a prescription medication where the list of side effects is, you know, 30 to 60 different things that, you know, might, uh, uh, nightmares and yeah. sudden death and yeah, all these yeah, crazy, yeah. uh, side effects where it blows my mind that people are afraid to sit down with themselves for an hour and just breathe. To be afraid of your breath is, is to be afraid of your own life. That's what's cool about breath work is that you actually get to decide how much or how little. You're in control the whole time. That's right. And I think that that's not stated enough. Yeah. You actually get to fluctuate how much gas, pedal, how much brake, stop, go. And that's the thing about somatic breath work is you're not forced to go at a certain pace. Mm. You know, everyone is encouraged to find their own rhythm because what a, a, a 10 to me might be a 20 to someone else. Mm. And so everyone finds their own pace. Everyone starts in, in their own time and a little bit at a time is okay. I think that some of these other modalities that get everyone in, a, in the same rhythm and it, it, it doesn't allow for individuality and it doesn't allow people to be where they're actually at. Like we need to be okay with being where we're at. If it's scary, it's okay. It's scary. Mm -hmm. I'll be there with you. Mm -hmm. Right. Yeah. It's worth it. Mm -hmm. There's gold in there. Yeah. And so it just blows my mind that people are, are quick to not be afraid to find an, an external thing that might, suppress different symptoms or, or, um, uh, find a quick fix pill where, like you said, if you are, if you are afraid of your breath then you are afraid of life because life begins and ends with your breath. If you're feeling curious, if you're feeling called to experience somatic breath work, we would love to see you at one of our online or in-person sessions. You can click the link below to find our schedule and we'd love to see you there.